What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Josh Helm here with Texas Best Construction and we are here in Cossey, Texas and we're going to do an update today, show you guys a little bit about the progress that's been going here on this two bedroom, two bath, uh, you know, living efficiency as well as a really nice shop and we had some bonus storage area that we ended up adding on the top. So uh, we'll be kind of walking through this, this project has been going for quite a while but we're nearing the end and we're looking forward to just giving you guys a little bit of an update before we get to the final tour video that we'll do here uh, so we'll show you a little bit of what's been happening here in Cossey, Texas I hope you enjoy this video let's get it going Yeah, so at this stage of the game, you can see we actually have all the sheeting done on the exterior. Uh, I don't think we were able to get down here during some of the framing stages, but you know, this has the zip wall system going all the way around because this is your upper, this is your vaulted living area. But you can see we've got a little bit of trim left to do here. Really like these contemporary style doors that we got going here for the uh, these steel doors that's pretty cool and one thing that you can see that we do <clears throat> around most of our exterior doors is we will leave this open and one of the advantages of doing that is if you ever had to change this door out you don't want to have your metal trim and all that stuff kind of blocking that door so this gives you the opportunity to be able to remove that trim and pop that door out and change it out if you ever had to because doors sometimes take a lot of abuse and you might need to change that out at some point or make adjustments so that's one thing that we've learned works really well in this case we don't have the trim on but uh, once this is all final trimmed out uh, you know we've got a little bit more insulation and stuff like that we'll be adding right there so as well as some seal to some seal tape and some of the other things that we'll use there all right a little bit about the exterior you actually have a charcoal trim with the gray uh, color on the panels uh, they do have mostly it's standard on the window package but this is like a white uh, window and you know looks really good we have our air conditioner this is an amana for the main system and then cooper and hunter on the mini split system and then also there will be a generator action going on here with the uh, gas connection there for the uh, i believe for the generator and we'll have the uh, um, tankless water heater on this one and then this leads you here into the side shop which that one's locked come over this way all right so this is the other side of that door and you can see it's kind of that contemporary look and we actually have another one over here and then this is a fireplace or a wood a wood burning stove that's going to go here Right now, that's just sitting. The, they got some of the doors sitting there, but that's still got to be put in. Which hopefully, in the next week or so, we'll be doing that. Uh, but yeah, this is the vaulted, and I know what you're thinking. Look at that huge fan. Yep, that's it's pretty slick. Looks pretty slick, and we have our tile guys here wrapping up today and been laying these huge 24 by 48 inch tiles and they're doing a wonderful job getting this floor laid and have already grouted in this room this is a bedroom it's sort of a I call it a auxiliary bedroom and I told you guys wrong this is actually a three bedroom two bath because so you got this bedroom this bedroom and then another bedroom over here and so we already have light 
in here and kind of see what's going on. A little bit of the cabinets. This is a 12 by 24 tile and we have some of the bathroom tile going in here. Still looking for mirror options in there. And another bedroom over here. Just kind of doing a little walkthrough. You can see that's where those doors were removed just so the guys can do the tile work. And I won't walk right here. Look at these cabinets, guys. This is pretty sweet. Kind of got a little more of a rustic appeal to it, but one of the things is these light fixtures. Uh, now, this is a custom made piece here, which looks amazing. It's going to be cool. Kind of goes with some of their artwork that they're going to be putting on this back wall. But that guy right there is moving a lot of air. You can really feel it. And this is your stain grade cabinets with the standard granite countertop. And you can see a little bit here. He's got some of the backsplash going. What's going to be happening with that? And kind of a different color here with more of a barn wood type color for the island. And this unique light piece going in here. Some pretty cool options. And we have Isaac on location. The man getting it done here. Getting it done. And Isaac just came from somewhere else working with us on another project. A uh, little bit down the road. So we're as far south. How far, how far away are we from where you live? Two hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> it's a pretty good haul, isn't it? I'll show you guys the master, bath, master bedroom. They just laid some of these pieces back there, so we won't go in there. And check out this fan. Turn that bad boy on. Watch this. What? <laughs> this is the master bathroom. Of course, we've got a door in here. Same reason. Still, this is the master shower. With, have the volume control over here on the right. So you can just reach in and turn that on. And then you'll have your shower head, which is a spray handle as well. Going in over there. Sorry, I don't have all these lights on, but you can see some of the... We've got a ceiling fan here in the bathroom. Some of the uh, Naughty Alder action. Master closet in here. A little bit of storage. So, a lot of shelving over there. All right, moving out of the master bathroom. He's got just a few more pieces left here. We're kind of concerned about him running out. This is the laundry area with a lot of upper cabinet storage, a lot of lower cabinet storage, and big countertop space. We have a washer and dryer going over here. Electric panel on this side. And... Moving in from here, we have, moving in from there, we have this big old shop space, which a lot of stuff is out here right now, so. But this is like a 15 foot door, guys. It's huge. And uh, we do have some, some storage under the stairs. Utilizing. There you go. Water heater is going to go in here. Also, a pretty good size sink going on there. And another optional bathroom provision for that over there, like later. So, let me show you kind of what happened upstairs. We built these stairs. 
we still have this was just originally going to be like an attic space for storage still a mess right now all these trades get in here and remove a little bit of this and a little bit of that speaking of they had to pop part of the subfloor off that uh, is over that master bedroom in order to add some power for a ceiling fan but this is that vaulted area in there it's really comfortable up here because we have this enclosed spray foam and our structural floor actually stops right here so they could build a wall across here if they wanted to and finish this out as an office and uh, you know kind of frame around some of this stuff here we tried to minimize how much space we took up here with some of the duct work but as you can imagine this is a separate unit over here which is called a slim duct system right here and off of this goes in just the master bedroom and uh, just serves the purpose for basically heating and cooling that master bedroom as well as the laundry room and it's on its own zone control and then we have the other unit which feeds the other two bedrooms and the main living area so that's what we got going on here and it's kind of like managed chaos when you're looking at HVAC work but the uh, ducting, none of this stuff is kinked. People in the northern areas always make such a big deal out of seeing this type of duct work. But that's, this is Texas. This is what we do in Texas. We use this type of flex duct. Now all of it's insulated, so it's encased, insulated, all the way around. So it's really comfortable up here. I mean, very comfortable up here so because a lot of your seepage air and stuff like that comes into this area which which is somewhat of a conditioned attic space also another thing we do in an in a attic like this is this gets a sealed door as well so it's equivalent to like an exterior door and gets shut off so yeah nice big shop all right, guys, we're going to continue to make progress here on this build until it's all finished and punched out and everything that we got left to do here. We're actually uh, getting real close to being done here on this Cossey Barn Dominium. Uh, so with the, the uh, wood burning stove the, um, uh, for the fireplace and the, you know, setting the appliances, those kind of things in place after the... Uh, rest of the backsplash is done and tile work all that stuff that's got to happen here of course we'll have paint touch-ups and got to put the baseboards all that kind of stuff on and we are nearing being finished here on this Cossey Barnuminium so and we have a cantilever like this awning that's going to go over this door which I met with the clients today on and we're going to actually extend that a little bit at least to the width of this concrete just so we can cover the light over there so we made a couple little adjustments with that but uh and then our overhead door uh, we actually had a custom door ordered it's been ordered since april or may but that big boy's still not here so those are just some of the items that are kind of just at the end and we're like okay we need all these things in place so those are some of the things that we're waiting on our uh, anticipation is that we hopefully we can wrap this project up here in a few weeks and uh, look forward to showing you guys the finished tour video i hope you've enjoyed this video these guys are going to continue to work hard and get this tile work finished this week and hopefully we'll be in here next week doing trim work all that kind of stuff so I appreciate you guys following along if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do that now also don't forget to follow us on facebook and instagram i'm josh helm wishing you all the best and thanks for watching texas best <music>